Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am the two time the box of the award winning the box head. Hi, and I'm the zero the box of the award winning the box head. Um, Paul. I'm a horrible friend. He has none yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> well, you know how it is. Wait, wait, no, no. Technically, you won one from the Paul Nate show, so you are in the box of the award winner. Awesome. I remember by now, because I'm back from a few years ago. Yes, okay, yes, yes, right. So I'm the one time award winning the box hit, and the box award winning Paul. But I have two. Mm, he wins. And today, folks, for the first time ever, I am having some Papa John's pizza. I've never had, you know, as fat as I am, I've never had a Papa John's pizza. And with my friend, we thought we'd um, shoot it. And um, probably because I'm such a douchebag, I wanted to bug vegans uh, because ours has bacon on it, because bacon, and of course, pepperoni is a classic. And we have cheese. So here is the pizza that mm -hmm. I'm having for the first time from Papa John's. One thing that you may notice you know, for people who don't know about Papa John's is they always come with some kind of pepper. And in, in, in the pizza box, it's, it always comes with the whole pepper, fresh. <laughs> yep. And they also have this uh, complimentary special garlic sauce, which I think it tastes good. It's like liquid butter. I don't know. <laughs> it, it it tastes good to me. So basically, garlic butter. Yes. It comes with garlic butter. Yes. Yeah, you can yeah, you can dip in. Mm -hmm. So Paul, did you want to have the first bite? Um. I, sure, yeah, I'll have the first bite, you can have the second bite, the first two bites, because you're the two-time winner, I'm the first-time one winner. Well, I, I, we are picking from different slices, though, so... Yes, yes, no, we're not going to share the same slices. No, okay, well, <laughs> the slices are going to be eaten individually, like, by the person who picks them, so... Yes. <laughs> uh, cool, yeah, I never had this exact amount of toppings. There's four toppings, what is it, pineapple, green pepper, bacon, and pepperoni. Yes. Okay, so, bon appetit. And another group I like to piss off is people who hate pineapples on pizza. It's my taste, not yours. We're all, we're all allowed to have our own taste. No one should be ridiculed for liking pineapple on their pizza. That's The two flavors that really stick out to me are the pineapple and the bacon. I mean, for me, those are the ones that really rise to the surface. And yeah, the bacon hits home and the pineapples are really nice and juicy. Well, I think it's because like um, pineapple and pork are commonly associated, of course, with the Hawaiian pizza. You have ham and pineapple on there. You go to a luau, there's obviously going to be like um, a, lot of, a lot of pork there. I just have. I think that's just what they happen to have. There was a lot, of, a lot of pigs, so that's how that came in. That's how that came about. So pretty much anything that's like bacon or ham is gonna wind up with pineapple. But I like it. I first like some Papa John's is good. I'm the one who picked all the um, toppings on this one. Mm -hmm. Next time, if we do another one of these, now, um, I remember you wanted tomatoes, so next time we'll make sure you include tomato. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got this, and we also got 40% off of this, because we had a coupon book. He nabbed the coupon that we used. That's like 40% off the whole price. So we got a large pizza, and yeah, 40% off, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, the discount of price is like $14.48. Mm -hmm. So that would have been over $20. Alright. 20, 30, I mean, 21, 22, $23. Mm -hmm. Do you want the, um, do you like peppers? Um, no. Nah, mm -hmm. If you want this one, you can have it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, should, should I dip this in the garlic sauce? <laughs> 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 Don't dare me, I'm gonna do it if you dare me. <laughs> I make for a good video. Let's do it. Yeah, that 
Yeah, it's definitely garlic. All right, so this is a Papa John special pepper in their Papa John special garlic sauce. That sounded juicy. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Mm. Should we have had the glass of water prepared for you first? It's not that bad. It's actually, it's really flavorful. That was really good. Man, that was really good. Peppers and garlic spread. That's what's up. So what is the best pizza that you've ever eaten anywhere? Where you just you ate it and you're like, man, it doesn't get better than this. That's actually a good question because like like for I guess it depends like really. Like if um little Caesars has like um good cheap pizza, if you want something that's like more affordable. Like I like I'm not gonna say it's the like best of the best of it, no. I'm not gonna say that though. Because I get like if you're gonna pay six dollars for for a pepperoni pizza, you're gonna get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, they're like a bit like probably like I would go for if I want something like cheap. But um, in terms of like actual best, um, over here in the Lower Mainland, um, one of the ones that I really like is the o Omega Pizza and Wings. They actually have a really good pizza, mm -hmm. and um, especially yeah, they also have, they also have really good wings too. It's like if you get if you want to go for pizza and wings. Omega and Omega Pizza and Wings uh, is definitely um, a top pick for me. I got uh, let's see what else what else would I recommend? I grew up with Domino's Pizza, so like um for me that's always good that's always gonna have a soft spot in my heart is Domino's Pizza. But that again that's because I grew up with it, so mm hmm. Hmm. See what what else? There's another one out here um, in Maple Ridge called Jim's Pizza. I think it's like um, near Haney Place Mall, so they have, they have decent pizza. Yeah, those would be like um, like, like uh, obviously like a couple of national ones, a couple of local ones. So yeah, those those would be a few good picks. Nice. What about you, Paul? What would you say is like the best pizza you've ever had? Um. Hmm. Surprisingly, which I'm thankful for this, um, I had it all the time when I was a kid. They're called the Nettie's Pizza. They're in Surrey. Um, yeah, when I was at my dad's when I was a kid, we uh, would always order them, would watch like a pay-per-view movie, like, um, it was whatever movie was on pay-per-view that we all wanted to watch. And we'd always order from the Nettie's. He'd get his classic, like, Greek feta cheese and tomato pizza. And then... My brother and I, he would always order for us, uh, just like the all meat, meat lovers pizza. And it was perfect every time, but it was just so good. Um, but like, I moved into Surrey when I was older, and I was like, wait a minute, one day it just dawned on me, I was like, I can order Vanetti's pizza if they're still around. And sure enough, they were still around, and I ordered from them, and the pizza tasted like almost exactly as I remember it. I was like, man, this is what's up. This is the best pizza. The Nettie's Pizza. Um, yeah, so they're, they're the best to me. Um, and then Domino's is really good too. I, I recommend Domino's as well. Um, yeah, they just have, they like they have an app now. Mm -hmm. And you can get, I think they have like in-app coupons, I'm not sure, but good deals there. Um, I actually have a good story from one Domino's when I was in high school. Um, when I was in high school, um, me and a couple of friends from just the one up here on Kingsway and Joyce, um, which is still there, um, we ordered like a, two medium pizzas and some soda. Um, but the people that were making the pizza, I paid for it and everything and they're making it and the order's ready and um, they gave it to me and they had this extra like box 
And I was like, I looked at it, I was like, oh, thank you. And we left, and I looked at it, and it was, they made this like cinnamon bun for me. It's like cinnamon stick bun. But I didn't even ask for it, they were just really nice people. Mm -hmm. So that, that, I've always remembered that. That was like a very kind gesture of them. And yeah, it was just, that, that doesn't happen everywhere. Yeah. So it, that, I appreciated that. Yeah, so um, that actually brings, reminds me of a couple of stories of, uh, from, from my like, um, childhood and life. Um, you were talking about Domino's uh, doing the cinnamon sticks deal for you. I think I know what you're talking about, the one with the icing sugar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like that product as well. Um, so, one time, when my brother and I were kids, I, uh, we went to the Domino's. We used to live on the, like, um, in Burnaby near Metrotown Station. So like, there was a, a Domino's walking distance from us. And what we did, we went, to, we went, and we went for a small pizza, which was $9 at the time. So I said, okay, small pepperoni pizza, eight ninety nine. So we order it, and then we're waiting for the pizza, and then like uh, maybe a couple minutes later, they look at us and say, okay, you're gonna get a large because we screwed up. They they, they accidentally grabbed a large dough, nice. and they so they you know what? The way we started, we'll just make the large pizza, and then the kids will have a have a large pizza for the price of a small. Like as uh, like honestly, because it it sounds like cause if you're gonna mess up and make like say a bigger pizza than you're supposed to. You, you would, some restaurants will say no, some bosses will say you know what, throw it out. Yeah. You're, you're wasting a large pizza and then you still have to make it small. Mm -hmm. But they, they said, okay, you know what? We messed up. We'll give them the bigger pizza. They'll have the extra pizza. They're going to be like, yes, we got really lucky. Yeah. And, and, it gives, and it gives them a, like a bit of a better image. Uh, and, and they're not wasting the extra pizza, right? Because they're, totally. they're not wasting more than they already did. Yeah. Like a, if they throw out the large pizza, then they, they have to make, they throw out the large and they still have to make it small. But they give us a small, they, they keep the small, and they they still have, and like, the, kid, the kids are going to come back, right? Yeah, because they and had they, such a good experience, so you're yeah. going to be like, oh, let's go back again. Yeah, and then the second one, you were talking about Venetti's, right? Mm -hmm. And like, uh, you say about how you were in Surrey, and then like, oh, but I can call Venetti's now, and like, it's almost as good as it was. That reminds me of, um, again, when I was a kid living in Burnaby, near Metro Town, um, my brother and I, we actually got one of our games for Christmas from our dad. Final Fantasy 3 out here in North America, 6 in Japan, and a few months later, it got stolen. Mm. So we went years, and then um, eventually uh, I got the PlayStation, and I asked for the anthology with 5 and 6 on the, on the PlayStation, and when I started playing Final Fantasy 6, I was like, oh, this is it. The game is as good as I remember it. Yeah. Because like, like, we can talk about like the loading times and the, all the crap it gets, but mm -hmm. you know what? At that, especially at that time, I did not care. It's like, yeah, I have like one of my, my favorite game back. That's like, I, I love the soundtrack, the game, mm -hmm. the story, like the whole package of Final Fantasy VI. So it was nice to have it back, you know, to, to have the game back and to enjoy something. So while uh, we're talking about pizza places, um, Uncle Fatty's. Okay. What are your thoughts on Uncle Fatty's oh. pizza? Um, man, they, they, they make killer pizza, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> um, I only know of like two locations, one in Surrey near Surrey Central, and they expanded, they moved like two spaces over uh, to like a bigger, bigger area, um, like last year. And then there's one near Commercial Broadway Scotian Station. Yeah, I know, but, I know this too. Yeah. Um, they're, they're good contenders. They're, I don't know where they originated from. Like, I, th I don't know if they're just in BC or if they're like just in Vancouver. I don't know mu much about their company, but like, you know, their, their place is always full that always has people in it. They're always, yeah, they, they don't do like, as far as I know, they don't do any like crazy specialty pizzas, but for what they make, they, they make good pizza. Yeah. And I say it's one of the better pizza by the slice places. Like you go, you go to like a Domino's, you have to buy the whole pizza. At least over here, we have to buy the full pizza. But there are certain places where you can buy um, pizza by the slice. And Uncle Fatty's is one. Um, back um, however many years ago, Metro Town they had um, they had another place, um, Pizza Zone. Do you remember Pizza Zone? Pizza Zone. It was uh, like right at Station Square. I think where the Starbucks is now. Yes, they, and they, and they made um, yeah Pizza Zone. No, I totally know. They made. Um, what are those called? Those, uh, not burritos, they made, uh, um, I, I know that, wraps. I, they made, uh, Donaires? Donaires. Yeah. Oh, they made really good Donaires there. 
And their pizza, their pizza, yeah. It's like the small, you know, the TV in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, that, oh, yeah. Like, uh, when I worked at um, the Boston Pizza out there, oh, because, like, sometimes I just didn't have time to sit down and have a full meal, so I just uh, stepped in on my way to work at the Boston Pizza over at Metro Town when I was working there. Or oh, the, like, such a, especially if it's fresh, oh, it was, <laughs> if that place was still open, that would be like, my, pizza, my pizza place pick. Very nice. Um, that's cool. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Um, in terms of other pizza places that I know of, um, well, there's this place called Flying Wedge. It, oh, I've heard of that. It's like, there's the Vancouver Public Library, like, with the big Coliseum yeah. looking one. And then they have, like, all those, like, little mini shops there. They have, like, a TV bank. They have, like, a Yeah, I know what you talked about. Flying Wedge, yeah. There? Uh, there's one in Coquitlam, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, um, you know, um, if you go to Coquitlam Central Station, they have, uh, like, uh, this, there's a sign with the bond and the other side of the Savon. Yeah. It's on the Savon side. Okay, nice. Um. I'm sorry, you were saying? Oh, yeah, oh, no, it's just, the, the, they have, they're pretty expensive, but, like, they, they have a lot of flavor in those pizzas. Like, they jam a lot of flavor into those pizzas, but, yeah. like, uh, and, they're and, huge slices. Yeah, and that's what I was going to say, that, like, <laughs> a, it, like, a, yeah, the prices are expensive, but it's like you're getting two slices for yeah. that price of but it's like you're you're paying it's like it's like it's as expensive as buying two slices, but you're getting two you're slices. You're getting basically two slices, yeah, exactly. The, yeah. I've never ordered like a whole box from them, it's just pizza by the slice. But yeah. a couple times I've gone there when I was like recording a few songs at the public library. Yeah. They have like sound booths. Mm -hmm. And so I was like recording a few songs. Um but yeah, no, they they had like a I think I had a chicken pesto or just a pesto and I had like a Hawaiian or pepperoni or something, but... But do they have the best o pesto and all the less do? Best... <laughs> they should? Someone should. Someone should Someone should make that a pizza. Best o pesto and all the west o? Yeah. Nice. Good play on words. <laughs> yeah. So, so all in all, what do you think of, what do you think of Pop John's? Will you, will you be a returning customer, or...? Um... I will definitely be, re be returning if I have a coupon like this. You know, definitely well worth the price that I paid for it. Um, but if I had, like, say, if I wasn't, if I didn't have a coupon, I might have a few less mm, toppings on there. Mm. Definitely get a small one if I'm going by myself, because I'm not going to want a large anymore. Because mm. I like we got a large because it's two of us, right? And we're, it's two of us, yeah. Uh, and we are saving a couple pieces for your friend. That's right. But yeah, I, I feel like this was definitely worth buying, and I'll probably be back to Papa John's. Do you, do you, do, are, do you think that they could get in the Boxing Award one day, or who is like the top contending restaurant or pizza place in your mind that that might win, could win on the Boxing Award? Okay, if we're talking like on the Boxing Award worthy food here, yeah, I know I'm gonna be a little bit biased on this one, but I do genuinely enjoy the food at Cafe El Nido. That's actually a place I work at, and I get a free meal, and on these. The food there is some of the best I've had in a, little, in a long, long time, you know. Like, it's not a, like, uh, the portions you're going to get are not going to be as big as, say, a bus, at the Boston Pizza might for the amount that they charge you, or, like, a Red Robin or whatever, but, um, the food is high quality. You know, like, like it's carefully seasoned and spiced, and it's, it's, the free meals I've had have always been good, so. I've never had a, I've never had a bad meal there, so that's definitely a place that I, that I would, um, place high up on the priority list for um, in the box of the world in terms of food. Paul, well, uh, what would you what would you recommend? Like, okay, this is a place that I think should be reviewed in the box of the world if you were to suggest to me something. Okay. Um, one place in Vancouver that I can think of we're actually talking about it on the way to uh, getting this pizza. Uh, my friend Marcus he introduced me to, to the restaurant. I've gone there I think four, maybe five times. Uh, they're called Lucy's Diner. In, uh, in Vancouver, uh, like the kind of Mount Pleasant ish near, not really Mount Pleasant, where are they? Like uh, near Terminal Avenue, near Main, Main Street South, really walking distance from Main Street South World. Um, oh, they, they just knock it out of the park. Their customer service is awesome, the like atmosphere is awesome, the music that they play is awesome, um, the food is awesome, the price is great. Uh, what's the word? How, how, do, you, how do you phrase it? Uh, Trashy, trashy but classy. Hmm. That's that's that, that's what they, they are. It totally looks like it's like a 
you're in Florida, like in the 1940s and 1950s, they have like that, that blue, like teal wall paint, and they have like yeah, just really good food. Like, I've ordered the breakfast pancakes, I've ordered the um, uh, chicken strips, I've ordered like a burger, I've ordered like a sandwich, and like they just deliver on every everyone. And yeah, the people that own it and, and work there, they're super cool, really, really nice people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, and they're open 24 hours, I think. Mean. I've gone there at like 6, 5 in the morning before. And the, yeah, the, yeah they're, just, they're good. Lucy's Diner. Yeah. And one place I definitely want to check out, um, one of my old co-workers from the Metric Home Boston Pizza, Joey, she works at Rumpus Room. So I kind of want to check that place out and get kind of like a, say, hey, is uh, Joey working tonight? Oh, oh, yeah, she is. Oh, she is? Oh, uh, don't tell her, don't tell her that in the box is here. It's here, just go to her and say, as nasally as you can. <laughs> <laughs> That, that was one of my things that... She'll know what it means. <laughs> yeah, because like, at, at Boston Pizza mm -hmm. Metro Town, I, like, there, was, there was an older lady there who, had, who was like the catch face queen. And then like behind her, I was second place for, for quotable moments or for quotable things. And by the time they closed down, almost everyone, at least, at least myself and two other people, and a lot of other people at least once would throw that. <laughs> Just because it's so nasally, you know, <laughs> and we would all get a huge kick out of it. They're like, "Oh, look, it's it's the box kids laugh." Awesome. So yeah, that's just a, so I think I would just love to go to a rumpus room just so I can get a server to go up to Joy and be like, <laughs> "You okay?" So oh, yeah, no, I was just. Okay, you see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was good. So, um, Papa John's. Yeah. Uh, definitely worth going back to. And I also think that they have an app um, where you can rack up, like, points. Um, so, like, you buy a certain amount of pizza and you get rewards. Like, one time I ordered um, it was free small pizza. Um, okay, let's uh, see. Here it says mobile app, so download yeah. the Papa John's mobile app. There you go. Yeah. So sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 I just, no, no, no. wanted to show that it does, but it does advertise on the Papa Rewards. It says on yeah, the other side. Yeah, Papa Rewards. That's it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, anything else you want to add? Uh, don't lick batteries. That's just life advice. <laughs> don't, don't. Never pet a flaming dog. No, true, true. And the always classic, never eat yellow snow. Yes, watch out where those huskies go and don't you eat that yellow snow. <laughs> yeah. So is that it? Uh, I think so, yeah. Hey, so, folks, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the two-time Naboxid award-winning Naboxid. And the one-time Naboxid award-winning Paul. And we would like to thank you for joining us, and I don't know, Paul, um, this is the first time I've done a taste test, so do you think this would qualify for my 300th video since my, my 100th was the cooking with um, the taco burgers, 200th was um, the Final Fantasy IV, so since this is a first for me, it might qualify as um, for the 100 milestones for the yes. Yes. Uh, You've never done a taste testing before? No, I've never done like um, a, a food sampling before. It's, it's I've a done a cooking video, but not a food sampling before. Right. It's a great way to uh, break that 300 threshold. So, uh, so anyway, uh, when I'm filming this, the Box of the Awards just went up. This is the first time I've actually talked about the fact I'm a two the Box of the Award winner. Yay, me. Good job. Yeah, so like I'm sitting on 278 right now. Still got a few more to upload this before I get to the 300 one, so... Yeah, I guess we'll see. Okay. I, well, I'll, you'll see this at some point. Just don't, unless I have unless I have a better idea for number three hundred, this will be three hundred. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing to my channel or for watching this video and for basically giving me something to do and encouraging me to do something that I enjoy doing. This is something I don't get paid to do. I don't get um, 
YouTube doesn't pay me anything for the videos I make. This is something that I buy the uh, I got buy the the equipment out of my own pocket. I I I travel to wherever to film and whatever. So yeah, this is something obviously you have to enjoy doing this shit. You know, if you're gonna make it to like if you're gonna make it anywhere near 300 videos, you have to have some joy in it. Yeah. So I've enjoyed doing that. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this and. Um, Thank you for giving me an audience. I would still do it anyway, but at least, at least people, someone's enjoying it and liking it. So, thank you for watching and supporting, and stay tuned. We got, hopefully, here's to another 300 videos. And more in the box of the awards. <laughs> let's get me the mo let's make me the most decorated in the box of the awards winner ever, folks. <laughs> let's do that. I agree. You should get an award like 10 years from now for having the most amount of. <laughs> Uh, I think that may be called a, like a lifetime achievement. Lifetime though. achievement, yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's perfect. Folks, it starts here. I will be the most decorated in the box of the war winner ever. Yeah, like uh, the medals, <laughs> like where like the military people have like those medals on on their on their their uh, uniform. Mm. You get like the box of medals, like. <laughs> yeah, like um, like this would be like a like a sort of like a gag. So I I wouldn't want to um. Do something funny at the expense of the military. You know, I, I, oh, I, I don't like that they that there's a military because that means that there there are weapons and people have to fight and kill each other. But I do understand right. that it is something that they that we kind of, it's what well, I guess maybe a necessary evil. Yeah. And for a lack of a better way of putting it, and I do appreciate what um what the military is is here to protect us. Oh, right? big time, same. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I I want all of you guys safe, okay? You know, like um, the privates, major, sergeant, all of you. I want you guys home safe. I wish we were in a world where you didn't have to fight and put your lives on the line, but I appreciate that you do. Yeah, and thank you to all of you who do exactly what you're doing. Uh, it's not in vain because we're sitting safely at home. So, yeah, what he said. Thank you. Yeah, cause like, like we can come up with like the in the box of the award. We can sit here and have repeat and have this kind of fun, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, anyway, folks, this has been um, hopefully maybe the three hundredth video. I am the two time the box of the award winning the box it. And I'm the one time the box of the award winning Paul. And thank you and good night. <laughs> <laughs>